I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in today's live stream I am going to be wire wrapping and setting, I can't find an example of the wire wrapping, um, but in setting cabochons in chain mail, but mostly wire wrapping. I just put them all away already. And I apologize in advance for the roaring background fan. Hey Ashley, hey Jessica, but it is like a million degrees today. Like only slight exaggeration it is hot so hey Valerie hey GC hey buttons um but yeah so this is an example <laughs> of what we're gonna be doing but also I haven't eaten breakfast yet it's been a crazy start to the day like crazy start uh, hey mind hey Muggsy hey Lydia <laughs> Woohoo! welcome Nancy hey Mikio ah uh, thanks for popping in I just see you made it through the weather, right? Yeah, no, it was just that really bad, like, front of the storm. And we then and, and then we got to sit through four hours of the power being out. So we went for a walk. We hung out in the van because our phones were needed charged. We drove around trying. Apparently what happened is a tree fell and took out four power poles. So, don't you mean the AC doesn't work in my room so I have a fan on? We've got three window units and a fan going, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm Milton. <laughs> going back to the roots for sure. And I was sitting there and I was like, everything, literally everything that I had planned to do today requires electricity. First world problems. Your day is starting and our day is ending. The UK heat wave is ridiculous. Oh. Well, it's good to know it's not just over here. But it's like a million degrees. <laughs> but no, it's, it's two in the afternoon here. I'm just now having breakfast though. But today, and Zach, if you're watching this, happy birthday. But stop watching because I'm going to talk about your birthday a little bit. Um, today is Zach's birthday, Lauren's boyfriend, Zach. And we are going down and visiting him. And they're having a cookout. And so Randy and I made him a cake and it is a Cthulhu cake and it is my first time decorating a cake with fondant and it's interesting I hope it tastes good <laughs> but very humid on our way home from Yellowstone passing through Missouri ah we'll wave as you're passing we won't get the heat until tomorrow kind of warm today but they're saying it will feel like over 100 tomorrow that is not right for Michigan gotcha ah oh, Sabrina I'm so glad you like the tea I sent you <laughs> I got the notification on time. <laughs> yeah, hello, boob sweat city. So I'm having yogurt. Right, Shar? We actually have the cake in the freezer right now. Hey, Jody. Um, and we are going to pre cool the van and then take the cake out and sit it right in front of one of the air conditioning vents. Oh, I wish it were raining. Oh, flooded as is, that's fair. Thank you. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial showing y'all how to make your own like boho bib necklaces that have a lot of movement. And these are really great also for like belly dance hip belts um, to do like little swags and stuff over the hips. It's really fun. <laughs> Mind. Since I've never heard the words Cthulhu and cake together before. Ah, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty. Do it, love. You, sir, have not moved. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair <laughs> beautiful in the mountains of North Carolina right on <laughs> hey Carol yeah we did survive through the weather a bit I was about to lose my mind because Randy has a backup battery um, for his computer that way when the power goes out right when the power goes out, he's got like a couple of minutes to get his computer properly shut down. That way it doesn't just black it out. Um, but even after everything's off, it beeps for about three and a half hours before it stops beeping. So I had to get out of the house because you could hear it in the backyard. You could hear this beep, 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 beep. And I'm just like, <clears throat> so I don't handle beep, obnoxious beeping well. Especially when I have nothing else to distract me. Because our house gets super dark. Like, like, three hours later into the evening than what it actually was. Kind of dark. Um, and so I tried practicing the piano. Um, 
but I had to like light candles so that I could see the sheet music um, and it, it just got too hot like with the candles lit I was like how did people live before electricity um, again first world problems but to work I made my friend a blue crochet Cthulhu when he found out the gender of his baby. It was super cute. Oh, Jessica, that does sound cute. <laughs> Tome says, cool, I have a jewelry shop on Etsy too and I watch your videos for inspiration. Right on, Jessica. Well, today I'm actually working on inventory because we've gotten a bunch of cabochons made for our craft crates. <laughs> Nicole said, sheet music? What sheet music? It's just, it's a level one beginner piano book. I'm learning chords, I'm going through the G chord. Um, <laughs> right? He probably had somebody holding candles for him. But I'm going to show you guys how to wrap some of the weird shapes that you might find in your craft crate. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Let me get the camera swooped around. Would you guys prefer this view but backed up a bit? Or I think overhead would be better. So I'm going to get this turned over. Boop. Coming around town. Oh, yeah, chainmail is not for everybody. It, it is a lot of fun, but a bunch of different types and styles of weaves. So if you don't get one, you try something different. You know, as long as you're enjoying it. I kind of feel like if you're not enjoying it, then don't bother. Like, it, there's no... There, there are enough crafts in this world that you do not have to force yourself into something. Mmm, yogurt. Hey, Dante, how's it hanging? Oh my god, I'm glad I turned the camera around. I'm just slobbering all over myself. Um, num, num. <laughs> it's my first time catching you live. I'm super excited. Well, hey, Mama Shug. Is it Shug or Shug? I think it might be Shug. That makes more sense. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, it, well, it's I had a little bit of extra paint on my brush, um, and painting these, and so I just tinted the Pretty Little Mermaid tails. And believe it or not, you guys, this was actually the same color of paint, just the back color of the uh, metal really made a big difference so I thought that was pretty neat I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with those yet whether I make them I might make a pair of earrings for myself they're quite large and I've got like a short little neck so I don't know we'll have to see but I'm very excited so today I am using 20 gauge silver wire silver plated silver from Paralire because they are the bomb diggity What's up? I missed a question. Is there a calendar of the different events Yvonne and Randy will be attending? There is. It's on the bottom of our uh, homepage on our website, creations.com. And I'm measuring off about from the tip of my fingers to my elbow, so like maybe 20 inches. I mm, A bit. <laughs> And I'm actually going to be cutting two lengths of this. Nicole, these are made from polymer clay and resin. And we have a tutorial coming out on that pretty soon. Also, I want to ask you guys, do you guys like the daily tutorials? Or am I just swamping you guys with a whole lot of information? Because it's like, I don't want you guys to feel like you have to like... Yeah, I don't want to stress you guys out and be like, oh, i got to catch up and watch videos. Or I don't want you to feel like you've missed something. And so, here you can see this is before resin and this is after resin. This is actually the same batch. So you can see, I cut them quite thin. Tutorials, Rick. Okay, you guys like it? Cool. <laughs> I just figured, you know, I'd check. It's been a minute. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep them coming. <laughs> and so, here we are. Aw, oh, thanks you guys. And you can see, but man, the way it just, the, the resin just makes it come to life. And you can see it only adds a little bit of thickness to the cabochon. But, um, I don't know. I like it. See, they set in chain mill wonderfully. 
This is an 18 gauge 3 16 bright aluminum. And then it leaves you plenty of room to be able to fill in with that two part Devcon epoxy. Hey, Jenny. Man, though, that's so pretty. I mean, in, in person, you can really get a lot more depth. Like, it, the camera just doesn't do them justice. Looked on Amazon, can't find the templates you have. Templates, how do you mean? Like, the stamps? Um, this was Inkadoodle, or Inkadoodle, Inkadoo? Uh, it's not Inkadoodle Doo, but it's shorter than that. I think it might just be Inkadoo. Um, is it my interwebs, or are we a bit pixelated today? Hannah, we're probably a bit pixelated, that's just... Stamps, like if you search clear, Inkadoo, uh, clear stamps, you'll be able to find just a bunch of different um, swirly patterns and stuff. I also have a couple added to my uh, influencer Amazon store and my wish list, maybe. Ah, Abigail's got fluids back! Woohoo! Oh, jeez. Inka dinka do. Inka dinka do. Thank you, buttons. <laughs> I just hear like yelling words. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some more yogurt. Food is delicious. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I was making that cake and I just ate like a bar of chocolate. <laughs> it was just a little square of the Garelli white chocolate, but I was like, well, I guess that there goes my coffee calorie. 20 gauge. 18 gauge. Are my two thicker wires that I typically use, and then for the two thinner wires, and you can tell I use them a lot because I have them like right here on my work surface. Uh, 20. My thing froze. So we've got 18 gauge, 20 gauge, 26 gauge, and 28 gauge. If you're gonna invest in full, uh, get like a 16 gauge or a 24 gauge. But for the most part, that's all. Like, hey, Amy. <laughs> And so, I'm going to be doing a double wire wrap on this one. Yeah. Ah, Lindy. Um, Julie says, Hi, Vaughn. I'm having trouble finding 10 millimeter bicones in a variety of colors. Where do you get yours? Fire Mountain Gems is a really great place. I really like going to uh, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's and using my coupon. And then also just searching 10 millimeter bicone on Amazon can find you a lot of really interesting stuff. But honestly, probably the best source is uh, Fire Mountain Gems. So I'm going to start by taking my paintbrush, giving myself about a palm of overlap. 26 gauge for wrapping. I always feel like I'm going to snap 28 gauge right on. And honestly, whenever I first out, I preferred 24 gauge, like always. Um, and would have never considered using a 28 gauge. But over the years, it's grown on me. Ah, Michelle, that is pretty cool. Though, I don't know, today we're going to a birthday party and I am feeling weak. <laughs> like, I'm really afraid. Like, I'm bringing as much stuff as I can, like some salad, some prepped watermelon, like enough stuff that like I can, uh, you know, stay full and stuff without just gorging. But considering just the birthday cake in and of itself is like, it's a red velvet cheesecake cake. So it's a layer of red velvet, a layer of cheesecake, and then a layer of red velvet with buttercream frosting, vanilla fondant tentacles, and uh, little white chocolate chips all over it and little candy eyes to make it look like Cthulhu. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going over my calorie budget today and I don't know how much activity I'm going to be able to fit in. But yeah, this is, this is going to be my cheat day. And I haven't done yoga in like a week, you guys. I'm so bad. Oh no. Okay. I'll complain about that later though. So I find out which part of the cap I want to be the top. And then I line that up with the bale. Sorry, I went into autopilot and just, I'm like, uh, I guess I should have explained what I was doing. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring this. 
Ooh, wow, Jody, that's awesome. And I'm just going to kind of hug around one of the sides. And I love using the two wires because it gives it, I feel like, such a cool little effect. Um, trap one cab, how long does it take you depending on size? I don't know, Angela. I've only got an hour to hang out today, so let's see how many cabs I can get wrapped in an hour. So here you can see I just looped across the back and over the bottom, and I'm going to hug that corner and then bringing it across the back. Doing my phone, you'll have to do some hardcore yoga tomorrow, right? Well, it's, I think if it's not like a billion degrees, uh, we might. if it is a billion degrees, we might actually just go to the Y um, and go swimming. But if it's not, we'll probably go for a walk. And just doing a wrap up to the top. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty though. I love these cabs. Like, I'm jealous of you guys getting them in your craft crate. So I'm going to have to make a batch just for me. So now from here, we could very realistically just snip and snip and have just a sleek little, if it's a billion degrees, do hot yoga. I don't, I've been having problems just in my house with my hands sliding everywhere um, on my yoga mat. And I don't know if I just have an old yoga mat or if I have like weak hands or something. So... I don't know, because it gets kind of dangerous in some of the poses to have your hands sliding around. So yeah, so for this I'm just going to snip just as flush as I can, and then just as flush as I can. And then we're going to use our bent nose pliers. <laughs> hey Nimu, it's good to see you. And I keep always keep my mandrel on hand because I really like to be able to maintain the consistency of the shape of my bale. And then I'm just going to smush those little buggers in. And I'm going to smush those little buggers in. Hey Karen! Um, do you have a link somewhere for the paint you used on those caps? I don't yet, I'm sorry. Well, I have them in my influencer store. I don't know. Can you put a flat bamboo mat on your yoga mat? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I don't know if the link's down in the video description, but I do have them on my Amazon Influencer Store, I think. But yeah, ciao. So cool. Um, the link should be down below. Hey Randy, would you be able to check my, um, the video description on the live stream? And if it's not there, could you share my influencer store link, the one that you bookmarked? Yeah. Thank you. Boop, boop. Randy's helping us out with that. I'm so nervous. I'm going to put up a sample of my jewelry on Etsy next week to see what people like. My official opening is August 11th. Woo! And, oh, well, that's a good idea, Lindy. But yeah, so there's one pendant. Boom. Okay, yeah, if you could add in, you'll have to log in as me. Randy's coming to the rescue, guys. Okay, so I'm going to do another one like that. <laughs> hey, Sean. How are you holding up in this heat? So anyway, I took watermelon rinds and frozen bottles of water out to my rep. Hey Isis, we just made a pendant. I'm working on some inventory for the booth today. And this is kind of baseline, like, um, this is my lowest price mark. JC, I am, like, so lucky to have a Randy to help me, actually. Like, I couldn't do what I do without, um, without him. For sure. Oh, I forgot about my yogurt. Mm. Um, now don't scold me, but I'm probably going to be selling these for like 15 or 20. I could probably get more for them, 
people would probably be okay with me charging less, but that's a pretty good price point for the amount of work, for getting them to move quickly. Hey, Lara. Ah, good luck at your tournament. Mm-hmm. I think I want this one to hang. I don't know how I want it to hang. I think I like like that. Nice and asymmetrical. Can I claim dibs on the purple one? Um, I can't right now. Like, we desperately need inventory for in the booth. And we have a really big show coming up. So if we still have it after Tokyo and Tulsa, then yes. <laughs> but I also have a huge batch of this style of cab. Ah, congrats, Lindy. Everybody go check out Human Shaped Girl on Etsy. She got her first posts up. Ida says, can Randy Wire wrap uh, beaded, I don't know what mod J is um randy actually does all of our chain mail like he wove the bezel for this and he does a lot of the prep work for the leather working but he doesn't much care for wire wrapping it is um have you eaten your chicken yet no okay so i basically on a style like this if you just hold on to two points, then it will, um, <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> um, the kind of cord that I would use for these, um, I used to sell cotton cord for like a dollar with like a, um, clasp and stuff on it, but now we just sell, uh, hypoallergenic chain for five dollars. Because usually, especially if it's just a pendant, people have like, they're like, ah, well I have a chain that I like, or, you know. Wait, you already have this in here. I did? Okay, yeah, if you guys follow the link in the um, video... The Amazon Influencer Store link. It's but, the exact same link. It's just get Amazon Influencer Store. Right? Sure. Okay. So Randy's getting us taken care of on that front. But yeah, right there. Boom. Pendant. Are you able to send me a link for the hypo chain? Um, anything that is aluminum or anodized aluminum or enameled iron from the ringlord.com is uh, hypoallergenic, I have found. How do you tell if the wire is nickel free? All the silver wire I have does not say. Most of the time it won't say, but with para wire, it's actually, it's like this vinyly enamel that's covering the metal. So there's no actual metal touching your skin with this, as far as I understand it. If anybody from Parawire is watching this am I, and I am wrong, please, please, please correct me. Because I've been functioning under that information for like a decade. <laughs> so, but um, I get my chain from the uh, the ringlord.com. Uh, for the shine, you mean on these guys? I used resin, don't mean resin. That is the source I like the best for chain, Sean. Have a good day, Julie. <laughs> Ah, 
Uh, thanks, Jackie. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, Mary. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those days. <laughs> Where did my there they go? Yeah. I'm so jealous. I wanna get to meet you guys. Hayden, how's it going? Okay, make sure there's no snaggy bits. So that's a cur cute little curly cue down at the bottom. Now I'm gonna pop the mandrel back in. Hey Randy, I'm not able to click on anybody. I need you to moderate. Like, it's not letting me interact at all. Oh wow, well congrats Carol. I made the video, you're the one who did all the work. <laughs> Uh, no, real party kid, it is not weed resin. It's, uh, this was Art and Glow. Uh, I get mine on Amazon. But they do have some resin at like Hobby Lobby and stuff. Um, this is actually a paintbrush that the tips all kinds of messed up. But it was a, I don't know. If it were a knitting needle, what size would this be? It's like 10 mil. 10 millimeters. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I fell asleep for a bit while I didn't realize I was this tired. Well, go take a nap. I'll be here when you wake up. Hey, Maddie. Yes, Sparky's. Hmm? Yes. What Sparky's asking? Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. I don't know what the message. I don't know what the question was. I missed something. <laughs> Oh wow, right on. What what brand of UV resin was it? So there's another one. Nice little asymmetrical piece. Are the links to the resin that you've used lately? Uh, maybe? Not to be this way, but I'm kind of the wrong person to ask about that. I have no idea what I'm doing or what's going on. <laughs> so, I don't know who the right person would be, but I don't have answers. Yeah, Maddie, what's the temperature like there in uh, Tennessee right now? Actually, these are polymer clay that I domed with two-part resin. Ah, uh, gotcha. And I used Art and Glow, but I also like Art Resin, and I also like Clearcast 7000, right? Oof. So pretty. Okay. 
So, and I'm basically just going to, whenever I'm producing inventory, I'll pick a style, which today I'm doing this double wire style. Um, and I'll make like a bunch of pendants in that one style. So, thanks, Melissa. And it just kind of helps streamline everything, and that way, you know, it, it gives me a way, because it used to, ouch, uh, um, used to when Randy and I first started out, I tried to make every single piece, like, completely unique, and, um, oh, I don't know, Linda, can I, can everybody else hear me okay? Linda's having some audio issues. Um, what brand? Hey ladies, I haven't had stop by and tried in a while. Hey Carrie, I'm back to work, but I still love you in the community. Oh, it's good to see you, and I'm glad you're busy working. Hopefully they'll make it worth your time for sure. <laughs> so on these bigger ones, I'm going to use three. <laughs> um, but yeah, when Randy and I first started out doing this, I tried to make every single piece completely unique. But that gets really challenging whenever you're trying to make like a hundred of something. So um, what I started doing is it's like uh, like with these finger rings. Or actually, I'll just show you our little inventory tray. No, I can't because it's halfway buried and stuff. Okay. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> How did you do the pattern on them? I used a stamp. There's actually a tutorial coming out real soon um, of how to make these cabochons and how to um, how to uh, dome the resin onto them. Ooh, that'll be cool, Lydia. Yeah. Um, so again, on inventory, like these are some wire elf ears that I was making the same style, but then I make it in, I'm still working on the copper ones, but I make it in a bunch of different color schemes. And then I'll go through and I'll do these same color schemes, because you're buying the whole string of beads anyway, and I'll do them like uh, in silver. You know, or, and we, you can see here I've got like a vintage bronze, a copper, and so I have like five metal tones that I like, four or five metal tones that I like to work in the most. And so I'll try to make these in every single metal tone I have. Oh, thank you, Melissa. And then for finger rings, I'll go through and... And this is how I mass produce handmade things. For the finger rings, I'll go through and I'll pick out like ten different gemstone types. Um, and then I'll use one color of metal of wire to wrap them in. And I'll make them, you know, so it's one design, but it's ten different rings that I feel like would appeal to a lot of different people. You know, because some people, they might not like rose. Each one comes out so slightly different anyways, but on these wave rings, I'll make them slightly different sizes, slightly different styles of waviness, and that way if one sells, I have another one to put out. Here they are. These are the pendants I was working on yesterday. And cows are not up on Etsy yet. Sorry, it's the signal's super bad today. I don't know what's up. Mm -mm. So this was one that I got made yesterday because that one was beautiful. Oh, that just makes me so sad. But I loved the wrap on it too. I might be able to salvage the wrap. Okay, so whenever this happens, whether it's with a gemstone or with polymer clay, gosh, it was the domed uh, patch cab. Oh. I know. I really liked that one. But the 18 gauge, I think, was a little stiff for it. So I'm opening that up. 
Oh, Sparky, I'm super behind in emails. I'm so sorry. So you can open that up and pull the cab out. Yeah, no, it just cracked right down the middle. Well, drat. Now I might be able to glue it back together and redome it with resin though. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try that. Okay, let's stab it. Let's this this hunk of junk. Gel super glue. Hey Randy, do you have any packaging tape over there by you? No. Great. Do you know where it is? It's in the Yeah. Uh, the, it's not your internet likely it's I'm having a very bad internet day today so yeah now considered a rough specimen so yeah I'm just super gluing it back together um, you could use a piece of packaging tape to just set it on to keep it held together yeah it is literally a patchwork cab now thank you I'm gonna set that down for just a moment get just a little piece of this is just packaging tape take it try to not get glue on your fingers now I have found you can't leave some polymer clays on the packaging tape for too long like it, like three days they start to get gooey on the back yeah okay so we've glued that I'm gonna use just a square of tissue with some condensed water on it to wipe off the excess super glue before it dries. I ate a butterfree out of clay in the last round of baking one of the wings. Not, I was able to salvage it, but it just isn't the same. Right, Lindy? Yeah, it never quite feels the same, but... Okay, and so now I'll go through and actually do a domed resin. I used a UV resin on this. <clears throat> so... Hey, Elizabeth! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, right on. I'll check that out, Jen. Have you heard of the art of repairing cracked things with gold? Yes! Oh, oh that's cute. That's a really cute idea, Candice. Liquid poly and then bake it. Since I've already put resin on it, I can't rebake it. Uh, the Most of the resins do not do well in an oven. Okay, so I'll set that off to the side, but we can salvage this wrap for use with... We can just slide another cab into it, maybe? Or we can try. So, jump phones that have to completely stop the stream minutes. And so, just real careful, because I don't want to break another cab. Um, I'm just going to come through, and you can see it's setting in there, but it's pretty loose. And so this is when we come in on the back side. And cinch that around. Huzzah! It has been repaired. Um, I left my cab under for a good five minutes, just because it still felt sticky. So there we go. So that's one that was done yesterday and today. <laughs> Here's another uh, one that we had wrapped. Uh, sometimes I use this. This one was done with a UV resin. It was the tiny Pandora UV resin. But man, those things that's potent smells coming out of that. <laughs> So there's that one and then I threw it on the ground okay so there was that one so again I don't always do the intricate weaving that one was a really fun one to do I really liked the way it came out yeah oh, well even with open windows like I have to wear a respirator just doing it whereas this stuff it's low vox so um oh I did it Michelle that's neat I must go back out into the heat now and finish yard work before the thunderstorm rolls in. <sighs> Have fun, Jody. I really liked this one. 
Does UV resin smell stronger than the Art and Glow two part? Yes. It smells worse to me than nail polish. That one was a lot of fun. Trying out some different textures and a different edge. And then these are just that's the chainmail cage. And that's the whirly bird. So yeah, just more ideas of different stuff that we've been getting done for in the booth. Hey, Miss GR Games in Greece. Okay, so now we have three wires. Our same. Let me give myself a full hand length this time. And just bend them around. And I'm going to keep that one and then wrap these ones around the neck. How was the stream Tuesday? Doctor visit from when you revealed she has strep. Oh no, Tuesday went pretty great. I hope she gets to feeling better. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Art resin eyeshadow as this color. It'd be pretty neat. I'm seeing things like eyeshadow and uh, chalk pastels because they are not color. But uh, for anything that I put outside, you know, the UV resins, even the ones that say they're non yellowing, oak with them staying. love that blue flash in there. Yeah, sorry, it's just going to keep cutting out today. That's all I, there's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry, crappy internet, but it frustrates me. I have this. We don't have any other options. <sighs> but that's why we do the tutorials. Yay, tutorials, maybe. <laughs> Um, actually, we have to, our house internet is so slow that I cannot stream off of it, so my phone is just going directly to space. <laughs> so it's like... Um, only options are either what we currently have or paying like $200 a month. Because we don't need the good download, our download's just fine. We need the good upload. And that's where it starts to get super. <laughs> Space buttons. Hey, Yvette. durability test. Mm -hmm. 
food coloring cocoa right on that's really neat I wonder how that worked out for him